Hey guys, it's Jessica. Welcome to the Mommy Archives. I just got through doing a massive grocery haul. Um, I've been doing big trips bi-weekly and then kind of filling in where I need to if we run out of something or if we need more produce or something like that. I'm doing the Whole30 right now, so I thought it'd be neat to show you guys the groceries I'm picking up for it. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got both girls over here. <laughs> You haven't snacks while I do this, so you might hear them, but I'll start over here with the poultry I got. I don't eat beef or pork, so I largely rely on chicken. I already have fish in the freezer. Um, I have plenty of that, so I don't eat more of that, but I got some ground chicken to make my own breakfast sausage. I have a whole chicken, which I'll do in the crock pot. I have two giant things, uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Thighs are my favorite part of a chicken. And then, um, two small things of little chicken wingettes so I can do buffalo wings. And then um, I got uh, just regular eggs from Aldi, but when I make my own mayo, I wanted to use organic eggs. Um, it's just not cost effective at all with as many eggs as we eat to do organic for everything. So that's a little compromise to make there. I haven't tried this tea yet, but I love chai. And so I want to try making this double spice chai um, and adding some coconut milk and seeing if I like that. We'll see how that turns out. And this is one of my favorite teas. It's the Good Earth Sweet and Spicy. I got the caffeine free. They also have caffeinated. Two things of vegetable broth which I found it cheaper later at Trader Joe's, um, but I didn't realize Trader Joe's was Whole30 compliant, but I picked those up beforehand, um, cause I'm sprouts first. A couple of cucumbers, a bunch of asparagus, some limes, squash, zucchini, four avocados. They were cheaper at Aldi, but a lot of time Aldi's aren't ripe, and so I picked up four ripe ones from sprouts, cause we eat avocado like crazy. Um, some things. Yeah, are you talking? Here's some things for the girls. Uh, these are both like being discontinued, I think. They were marked down like half off or less than half off or something ridiculous like that. So we've never tried them, but we'll give them a shot. A fragrance-free shampoo and body wash and a fragrance-free moisturizing lotion by Tom's Baby. Two brushes for both of them. They were on sale and they had dollar off coupons. Um, seventh generation stuff was buy one, get one free and we needed some hand soap. So I got some hand soap. I got a cantaloupe, some sweet potatoes, russet potatoes, garnet yams, cuties were buy one get one free, so I got two bags of those, three varieties of apples, we have opal apples, which I love, um, I don't know if I've had these before, ruby frost, they looked good, <laughs> so I picked those up, so some gala apples, I got a little thing of ginger, a bag of whole carrots, which um, Trader Joe's had like the same size bag, I think it was a pound for 79 cents as well. That was a price at Sprouts, but, but theirs were organic, so you'll see more carrots later. Um, a couple of fine ripened tomatoes. I got cashews and almonds to make my own um, trail mix. I got dried fruit from Trader Joe's, which we'll see later. Um, a yellow onion, a purple onion, red onion, whatever color <laughs> that's supposed to be. Um, some dried lavender for DIY I have in mind. Some oregano. Uh, three red bell peppers. These were three for a dollar, which is awesome. I got some strawberries and then some dates. I love dates. Uh, and I think that's everything on the table. And then also, um, I didn't want to pull all these out, but I got a ton of these pouches, uh, because they were buy one, get one free, the Plum Organics and the Happy Tots. Uh, Rowan eats a lot of what we eat, but sometimes, you know, if we're making something spicy or if we're on the go, these are just, I mean, y'all know. Moms know, these pouches are just so easy. So if I want to get one free, I really want to stock up. Here is what I picked up from Trader Joe's. A lot of the stuff from Sprouts is still over there, so I'm trying to hurry. But I picked up some ground turkey that'll focus for you. There we go, some ground turkey. I got two bags of rice cauliflower. My last grocery trip, I bought whole cauliflower and made my own. But this is $2 and you get a whole pound and it was like more than that per pound for a whole cauliflower. Plus like you can't use all of the stock and stuff. So I was like, well, that's a no brainer. Get the stuff that's already made for me, save myself time and it's cheaper. So that worked out well. Um, I got this cruciferous crunch, which I really like. It's kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. You see the note of it over there? Um, some organic shredded green and red cabbage with carrots, just essentially a coleslaw mix. Um, romaine salad, 
some sea salt. This was um, kind of an impulse purchase. They were sampling this with uh, apples. I don't know what kind of apples, um, but it is Whole30 compliant. It has like no oils or no sugar. It's just all different types of nuts. And so um, it was really good. So that was a little bit of an impulse purchase, but I thought, you know, for snacks, with an apple or with a banana, that would be delicious every now and then. Um, let's see, to go with the nuts I bought for a trail mix, I got raisins and dark cherries. And since I'm like talking about trail mix and snacks, a lot of people are like the normal thing on Whole30 is to really eat just bigger meals and not really do too many snacks, but breastfeeding, you kind of throw that out the window. So since I'm breastfeeding, I have to snack. Um, I got some toasted sesame oil. 21 seasoning salute this is good on literally everything if you've never tried this before you need to have it in your pantry if you have a trader joe's near you some ghee um this is what i was talking about before the organic carrots at trader joe's were the same price as the regular carrots at um sprouts and so i was like yeah i'll just go ahead and take up another bag because that's a good price and i know i'll use them so um i got some chili chicken lime burgers these are delicious and i didn't realize i didn't even think to look at them my last trip but they are whole 30 compliant which is really exciting i saw it on a blog that i was reading i found on pinterest and so this will be good for an easy lunch when it's just me and the girls at home um some garlic herb chicken sausage this is delicious another really easy thing to whip up for lunch when it's just me or even make for dinner when we're in a pinch um i got some diced tomatoes a big jar of that for some chili i'm making and this is a shampoo Caleb uses and he's almost out so he needed one and I like to keep shampoo and conditioner in my guest bathroom for when we have guests and um, sometimes I shower down there and so I went ahead and picked up the same one shampoo and conditioner for down here. Um, we love this stuff. I use this maybe like once a week or so. Um, just like a, a clarifying type of treatment. Um, I don't use it every day, but Caleb does. And, but I've never tried the conditioner, but I thought I'd pick that up together to put in the guest bathroom because my mom visits the most and she loves this stuff. So I thought that would make her happy. So here is what I got from Aldi. Let's go ahead and start back here and address the elephant in the room. I got a ton of eggs. I got six dozen eggs. They were on sale for 55 cents at Aldi. Um, and the most you could get was six, so I got six <laughs> because there's a while before they expire. I eat eggs every single morning for breakfast now. Sometimes we do breakfast for lunch or dinner. And so, yeah, lots of eggs have been happening on the whole 30, so I got six dozen of them. And then uh, these were another slight impulse purchase. Uh, I already got the other clementines, the cuties from Sprouts, but I saw these and they just looked really good. <laughs> And so, um, I've never tried these kind before. Cara Cara or Cara Cara navel oranges, and they have a pink flesh. I don't know, the blood oranges with the red flesh are really delicious, and I've never tried these pink ones, so I thought we could try those out. I mean, produce, you can't really feel guilty for, like, buying oranges. Um, I got a pineapple. Let's see, I got an Italian salad. Um, I got a little bit more chicken, because these packs were a lot smaller than sprouts, and so, um... I got like, this is like half the size of the one at Sprouts, so a little bit more chicken thighs, some mushrooms, Kennedy wanted blueberries, this is for Kennedy, um, this, I think this has something in it, let me see, yeah, this is brown and soybean oil, so we can't have it on Whole30, but Kennedy can have it, so, um, I got her that for lunches for school, a couple of plantains, <laughs> Rowan is going crazy over there. <laughs> Uh, I need to do some bananas. We already have some, but um, I, I got some green ones, so they had some time to ripen. Caleb is doing a modified Whole30. <laughs> Sorry, she's cracking me up. Caleb's doing a modified Whole30, so he's doing smoothies, and he is adding a little bit of juice to it. So um, I got him some orange juice because he was all out. This salsa, y'all, is so good. Um, it's a fire roasted salsa from Aldi, or double fire roasted, excuse me. It's organic, and it's like two bucks, and it's delicious. Whole30 compliant. If you're on the Whole30, get that. If you have an old in here, it's so good. Um, I got some broccoli florets. Um, this is compliant as far as I can tell, and it looks like it's supposed to be an alternative to Frank's original hot sauce, which we've been using a ton, so I thought we'd try this out because it's a lot cheaper, so hopefully that's good. And I got some avocados. Like I mentioned, they were a little cheaper than sprouts, but they aren't ripe, so then they'll have time to ripe. <laughs> and we can eat the other ones in the meantime. But that is everything from Aldi, and so those are all the groceries I got. 
So that is everything I picked up from Sprouts, Trader Joe, and Aldi for my Whole30 haul. Um, I spent about $230, but there are definitely things I stocked up on, like vegetable broth and eggs and things of that nature that are going to last for a while. And I also had some non-grocery items like um, hand soap and random things like that. And so uh, this should last us for a good two weeks, maybe with a little bit of filling in. So. Um, yeah, I also have some things still in my pantry and still in my fridge, but uh, if you guys want to see some meals or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. Rowan's getting a little crazy over here with the blown bubbles and stuff like that, so I'm going to go hang out with the girls, but please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!